Hi guys, today we're going to look at how to use a basic animation to recreate the scrolling text from the opening of Star Wars. Ok, we'll start by creating a new 3D project in Unity Hub. We'll then add some text to the scene by clicking the plus button in the hierarchy and selecting UI Text Text Mesh Pro. We'll import the Text Mesh Pro Essentials. This has now created a UI canvas containing some text. By default, the canvas render mode is set to Screen Space Overlay, which means the UI elements are rendered on top of everything else in the scene. As we want the text to be at an angle and scroll away into the distance, we need to set the render mode to world space. Now the canvas will act like any other game object in the 3D world and will be rendered by the camera. We'll set the position of the X and Y axis to zero. We'll just change the scene view so that we can see the canvas and the text. Next, we'll go and find the opening text from Star Wars Episode 4. This website has the opening text from all the movies, and you can find a link to it in the description. We'll find the text for Episode 4 and take a copy. Back in Unity, we'll paste this into the text box. Then we just need to tidy it up a bit and change the formatting to match the movie as much as possible. The first thing we'll do is set the colour of the text to yellow. Then we'll set the alignment to justify. We'll set the position to zero on the X and Y axis. And we'll set the width to 500. This is looking a bit better, but the two title lines still need to be centred. We can do this by surrounding the title with the Align tag. Then we can alter the alignment by adding equal centre to the opening tag. We can do a similar thing with the font size. We want the second line of the title to be larger, so we'll use the size tag to set it to the font size 50. The final thing we'll do to the text is change the font. We'll search for a font called News Gothic Bold. This website offers a free download of the font, and you can find a link to it in the description. We'll download this font to the Assets folder of the project. We'll unpack the zip file and move the font file to the root of the Assets folder. We'll then just delete the unneeded files and folders. To use this font with TextMesh Pro, we need to go to Window, TextMesh Pro, Font Asset Creator. We'll select the font we just downloaded. Then we'll click Generate Font Atlas. We'll save this as an asset in the project. Then we can change the text to make use of this font. Now it looks pretty close to the style of the text in Star Wars. The next thing we're going to do is change the camera settings. We'll select the main camera in the hierarchy and set the clear flags value to solid colour. We'll set the background colour to black to make it look more like space. Now, to achieve the slope text effect, we're actually going to angle the camera. We'll set the rotation to minus 70 on the x-axis. Next, we need to move the camera so that the text starts off out of shot and can scroll into view. We'll set the position to minus 150 on the y-axis and minus 220 on the z-axis. As we want the text to still be visible way into the distance, we'll also increase the far clipping plane to 2000. 
If we switch to the game view, we can get an idea of how this is going to look. The scene starts off completely black. We can then select the text and increase the Y position to see what the text will look like as it scrolls along. The next step is to create an animation that moves the text. We'll set the Y position back to zero and then go to Window, Animation, Animation. We'll make sure the text is selected in the hierarchy and then click Create to create a new animator and animation clip for the text. We'll name this animation clip Text Move. The first thing we need to do is add the property we want to animate. We'll click on Add Property and select Anchored Position. We can now expand this property to see the value of the X and Y position. The next thing we're going to do is animate the Y position so that it increases over time. If we look at the right hand side of the window, we can see the duration of the animation across the top. So currently this animation will run for one second. Underneath we can see these diamond icons. These represent keyframes in the animation and we currently have one at the beginning and one at the end. The way animations work is by setting the desired values at these keyframes. Unity will then automatically calculate the values in between. You can add as many keyframes to an animation as you need, but for this animation we just need two. One to set the start position of the text and one to set the end position. So we'll leave the start position at zero. Then we'll click this button to go to the next keyframe. We'll set the Y position at this keyframe to 3000. If we now press play on the animation, we can see the text move. At the moment it's moving really fast. We can slow it down by extending the length of the animation. To do this, we'll scroll out on the animation using the mouse wheel. If you don't have a mouse wheel, you can drag while holding down the Alt key and the left mouse button. We can then just click and drag the last keyframe so that it ends at around 90 seconds. If we play the animation now, it's moving much slower. Let's close this window and have a look at the changes that have been made to the text object. We can see that an animator component has been added. An animation controller has also been automatically created and assigned. If we double click on this, it will open the animator window. This is where we can control the animation state and transitions. At the moment, the text move animation is set as the entry state, which means it will play as soon as the game starts, which is what we want. We'll change one final thing before we press play. The animation is currently set to loop forever. We'll set it to run just once by selecting it in the Assets panel and unticking the Loop Time checkbox. OK, let's press play to see the animation in action. The text now scrolls into view, but you may notice a slight issue. It starts off moving slowly and then speeds up, which isn't what we want. This happens because of the way Unity is calculating the values between the two keyframes. Let's stop the game to have a look at how we can change this. We'll open the animation again. Then we'll click on the Curves tab at the bottom. This curve determines how the values between the keyframes change. At the moment it's set to start off slow and then change at a constant rate until the end when it slows again. We can change this to be a linear change by right clicking on the start point and selecting both tangents linear. We'll then do the same for the end point. You can see now the curve has been replaced with a straight line. Let's press play again to see how this looks. Now the text moves at a consistent speed and it looks much better. Eventually it will drift off into the distance and out of view.
Okay, that covers everything for this video. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. If you find our channel useful and would like to help support our work, you can find us on Patreon and Coffee.com. Thanks guys.